Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization V as France. So, last time we explored our starting location a little bit and found out that we are on an island uh, that uh, did not remind me of anything that uh, we'd be able to find in Europe. So, I finally checked the description of the Europe map script and it actually says that it's Europe-like map so it's not a represent accurate representation of Europe so this is just a randomly generated map that probably on one side will have uh, like seas and oceans and on the other side it will have land all the way to the edge of the map so yep that, that's not what I wanted but okay I'm not gonna change it uh, we will stick to this map and see how it works uh, another thing that I found out or that I was told that I had no idea about which um, uh, actually surprised me and disappointed disappointed me a little bit is that it seems that uh, since I don't know when um, all map scripts except for the communitas whatever, uh, are not compatible with uh, Vox Populi anymore. So you can still use those scripts, but it's not guaranteed that they will work properly. And uh, I don't know what to say to that. I mean, like, are we really stuck potentially with just one map? And I personally hate communities. Like, I know, I know that like 90% of you won't agree with me, but for me, communities is one of the worst scripts. I, I just... Honestly, hate the hated map. So, mm, pretty disappointed. And I just hope that I will be able to keep using the maps that I like and that uh, they will work well enough so that the game will be playable on them. I mean, worst case scenario, yeah, I will play on communities, but I would rather not. So, that's that. And um, before we start playing, two more things that I want to talk about because uh, they were mentioned in comments in couple um, in comments a couple of times one is about my choice of social policies i knew that there will be some disagreements with my choice to go authority and that this looks like a pretty decent tradition style i know that but uh, we are playing as France. If we are not playing as France, if we were playing with a Civ that doesn't rely so heavily on conquering cities to get anything out of its unique ability, I would change my plans. I would go tradition, maybe progress, most likely tradition. Uh, but I want to use French unique ability. I mean, if I don't try to play as a warmonger here for the first, I don't know, like 70% of the game, I might as well have played something else, so or someone else, other save. So let's see if it works, the, uh, let's hope that we find some AIs to fight against. I know that it doesn't look that way right now, but the AIs can uh, grow pretty aggressively and we also need to expand outside of our main island. So hopefully it will be fine. Sure, we won't be able to start fighting right away and we won't really be getting uh, any extra yields out of, uh, out of authority, but... As I said, I really, really want to fight uh, in this game. I want to take advantage of uh, our unique ability as much as possible. So that's uh, why I still decided to stick with uh, authority. And then the last thing, that's the Pantheon that uh, I couldn't decide on. And I wasn't the only one. Uh, the only thing that uh, you helped me decide with like 100% was that we are not going to Tillery Gods. Like basically nobody, I think, even mentioned Tillery Gods in comments. So... Uh, the other choices left now are Goddess of the Hunt, then Goddess of Purity, but I don't think anybody talked about that either. And the third one, uh, Good of the Stars and Sky for the Tundra Snow uh, resources. Initially, I wanted to go with this one 
to get the yields immediately because these resources don't have to be improved. So we would immediately get the yields from uh, both the, the furs. But they all, it only works for Tundra and Snow, right? And we are not going to have too many cities uh, in the north. We will be mostly expanding south. Uh, sure, our th uh, second, third city will would get something out of it. But most of our cities should be south. So um, once we start growing, we won't be getting anything out of Good of the Stars and Sky. So that means the only one left is Goddess of the Hunt, because camps will be everywhere, not just in Tundra, right? So we will keep getting extra yields as we grow, uh, as we grow south. And uh, then we have plus one food from uh, resources on Tundra. So at least we all get the food right away without improving the first. And then we are getting closer to our first worker. So the rest of the yields should start uh, should start kicking in relatively early. Uh, camps. Yeah, we all have to go trapping next. But I think that was the plan anyway. So we'll do that. The question is what's going to be next? I kind of need to go fishing. So that we can uh, keep exploring, find some some AIs, get a better idea about how the map looks like, and how far the AIs are. Don't like this start, uh, and by that I mean like the the way how we are progressing through the tech tree, but I think we have to do it. We don't need calendar because we don't need to remove anything. We don't need to remove forests, marshes, anything like that. But once we are done with fishing, we will have to go uh, writing, pick up trade and then writing. Okay, so I think we have our plan. Uh, where is it? Get us at the hunt. Yes, please. So now we have 31 tiles here. And I think because we are done with the, uh, with the Stonehenge, might as well lock all of the food. So that's that. And what is the plan now? The warrior will probably be camping this uh, this hill for a while. And now we just keep hitting and turn. There really isn't that much left to do until we get the worker. Oh, and now we get the animal husbandry. Hopefully that reveals something. Okay, what does it reveal? Double Tantra horses. Uh, some cattle. Where did I... Uh, where was I planning to settle? Here, right? This is in range of the capital. Uh, we got what? One, two, three, four, five. Five, five tiles that we didn't know about before. Plus there are two more down here. I don't think this really changes anything yet. So it's gonna be trapping that really decides the final locations. I'm more or less sure about these two cities, but I still want to figure out what I'm gonna do down here. Fortify next. How many settlers uh, do we need? We need to train 
too quickly. We get one for free. It's one, two, three. And then we need to train potentially two more. It's a lot of settlers. Uh, I think I'm going to settle here. Now we know about the horses and the cattle. That will cover the the first. One, two, three. And we get the fish. This one uh, will be in the range of a city here. Uh, how much is the worker? 210. Oh, brood, come to me. That's some walking culture right there. Problem is, if I do too much damage to him, he's just gonna embark and run away. But if I don't start attacking him, I can't kill him, so. We'll just see what happens. Do we want the granary before the settler? 16 turns to grow. That's a long time. With, uh, though with the granary, we would probably grow right after it's finished. So I think I will go for it. Go to six, uh, the, the, uh, six. Go to size six. That's what I'm trying to say. And then we get the work, uh, not work a settler, actually two settlers, and drop to four again. Okay, dropping. Oh, that's interesting. But first of all, let's take drill. What did we reveal? One, two, three, four, five, six. I forgot about bison. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think like eleven tiles. Suddenly, the map looks a little bit more lively, let's say. So that's another camp for our capital. One, two, three, four, five, six camps potentially up here. Uh, actually, that's two more camps for our capital. The deer is in range of the capital. We got one extra camp here. Not the best one, but it's still a camp with uh, the pantheon that we took. Uh, even the bison is actually decent. Then, uh, I hate doing it, but I may settle here. So if I settle here, there will still be a gap in the middle, so I guess we won't be working the cattle. Or maybe I just settle here. It's quite close to the capital, but it would reach this. It would reach the fish. If I settled here, I would have all the fish in the range. I'm trying to cover as many resource tiles as possible without increasing the number of cities that I'm planning, so... I would like to have a city on the hill here. Actually, we could settle here. It would still be on the hill, coast, and cover everything. That makes more sense. Okay, 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 I like that. Uh, come on. There we go. Who said that we won't be able to get anything out of authority? Already worth it, plus 12 culture.
Do I need to protect the worker? Probably should. There could come a brood from the sea. Oh, and there are barbarians in the north. Actually, that's actually good. Uh, I don't think I can really destroy the camp with like, what I currently have. Or actually, no, I can, because uh, I can prevent them from spawning land units, so I can just be here. Okay, we will, we will destroy it. Uh, wait, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Hmm. Didn't expect an archer there. Okay, you'll go this way. You can actually... No, you'll go this way. I wanted to say you can actually follow through the city, but I think I'd rather go through the forest. Um, next... Yep, tutelary got gone. No surprises there. That's interesting. He prioritized the bond finder, which is good. How much damage would the Ooh, that's a lot of damage. I don't like that. And now we started getting some extra money so that we can buy. What do we go for? Do we go for Archer second? I think we do. We're gonna need some early workers, like three more maybe. Two more turns to grow, that's fine. I could just train a warrior here, delay the settler by three more turns. That's not the end of the world. Yeah, that's as far as you are going right now. I kind of want to have two warriors because it feels much safer against barbarians early. Next. I have to keep an eye on the worker. I need to finish the camp one turn earlier. Can we save a turn here? Probably not. Let's do one turn of healing and then we start attacking. Is this a bad idea? Probably is, but since uh, the camp can't spawn the land unit, I think I can afford it to attack there.
Actually, no, you will protect the worker. Border growth in one. So we want to get. I want to say we want to, want to get the coral, but do we. Making one gold per turn or three gold per turn actually is not a huge difference. Uh, that's definitely a settler. We can save a turn. Okay. Nope, didn't get the uh, the coral. And the timing is decent. We managed to delay the border growth enough so that we got the 30 production towards the settler. So that saved us, what, two turns? What I have to figure out is what is the second city gonna be? Or where is the second city gonna be? If I settled here, I would reach the fish. I would reach this fish as well, and I would reach all of this. This is in range of the capital. What would I sacrifice? I would sacrifice a fish here. So I can't really get... No, I can't get an extra fish, no matter where I settle. One is always going to be out of range. If I settle on the hill... Am I losing something that way. I will be able to reach all of the land resources around it anyway and I will gain production for the early growth. I mean early development. And we would start it actually would we start with the granary? Because the granary would give us extra food here. I can't I have to start it with like monument shrine into granary. Okay, so this, I think, will be the second city. Let me check one thing. It doesn't say anything that about being built on a resource. Next to a luxury, but I'm just like thinking if I can build it on the deer, though we probably don't want to lose a camp. Though no matter what I do uh, and where I place the city, I won't be able to get three shuttles here. So yeah, it's fine, we can settle here. Uh, this might have changed my plans though, the bison. Because now, if I want to get three shuttles around the first, I have to get them here. So I may have to settle on this tile. But it still be, be, would still be in the range of this fur. And uh, I would never settle far enough north to grab the fish i think i could i mean technically I, no, no, no 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 i don't want to lose the uh, access to the first i could settle here that would give me the fish but i would lose a camp and i think i'd rather have a camp than 
and then we're both Oh, did I forget to speed up the, the camp? God damn it. That's a pretty good tile. Problem is, if I settle here, I will have literally nothing around the city. So maybe I want to wait. Well, I will have to wait anyway with settling that city until I get Imperium. And then I'll get the immediate border growth, which will hopefully give us the first... It's not guaranteed, it could go to, to the horses or to the bison, but hopefully it, was, it will give us the furs and be improved immediately. Fortify, fortify, next. One turn to get fishing. Good. Hmm. One thing I didn't realize as I was settling the capital is that I won't really be able to improve the coral for a while. No, actually, I can build work, build a workboat in one of the other cities and just send it all the way around and improve it, just that a workboat from the capital won't be able to get there. Fortify. Um, plus some production from camps. Holy crap, we will have some insanely good herbalists. You'll have like six production herbalists in some cases. That's like a factory level herbalist. I think, actually, we are getting, we can't trade really for a while. So getting a caravan early makes no sense. Getting marketplace, we will be getting gold from uh, first, so we are not desperate for a little bit of extra gold from building. I may actually go for the calendar next and uh, prioritize those herbalists more than usual, and then we go writing. Next. I'm honestly starting to kind of like this start with all of the extra resources that we got that will all be improved by camps. Not the horses, of course, but everything else, basically. We suddenly have access to some decent yields. Next. Oh wait, you are supposed to start exploring. Hmm. I guess exploring will have to wait a bit. Uh, I think I am gonna send the warrior. I don't want to risk losing the settler. There can be random barbarians. Wait, where am I going? I wanted to go there. Uh, 
So I should have crossed the... Uh, One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Is that the fastest way? Okay, we really want to get this kill so that we can settle this city one or two turns earlier. Next. Someone entered classical era. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, technically that's possible. So what are we doing now? Now we are saving... This is disgusting. We are at 6 tanks. Someone is at 14. How? Like 11 is already impressive. This is just... Wrong. Five, this is six, so that's... How can someone have 14 tags? Wait, actually this one counts as well. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Last turn... We got a pop-up that someone entered classical era. I'm not sure if it was the first save. It might actually might not have been the first save. There might have been someone earlier. And there probably was, then I missed it. But if it wasn't, then it doesn't add up. Yeah, there had to be a pop-up earlier about someone getting into classical era that I missed. Because if not, then someone just managed to get the classical era tag in one turn. Which would make sense if we had Babylon in the game. Because it's possible they discovered writing, got their great scientist, pop scientist for science and get attacked. So technically it's possible. Where did he go? I'm just gonna embark most likely. Come on, I need my archer. Do we wait 13 turns to pop the city? Yeah. 
It wouldn't be 40 science, it would be 60 science and 60 culture. That would immediately give us what, an extra tile, and getting that extra tile immediately would also mean getting immediately the yields from tribute. And the 30 production, because I'm pretty sure 20 is for standard speed, so for epic it should be 30. With that, we would compensate for the production loss, basically. So this city would only be behind, like, growth-wise. I think I wait and just hope that I catch one extra barbarian. Uh, by the way, you need to explore. There we go. Excellent. So let's save those a turn. You are done with the camp. Once again, I forgot to finish it earlier. This is pasture. We don't really have to rush pastures. We are going to drop down to uh, down to four population and we have more than enough tiles. We have enough tiles for six people right now, so we don't need to improve another tile. If it was a camp, I would do it, but it's not. So instead, I'll already start moving here. There is the camp. I'll just wait for the archer, then we go there, sit here with the archer, block this tile with the warrior and get rid of the uh, of the brute. I could even uh, like camp these barbarians, which I hate doing, but on, in this case I may even consider it to get uh, a little bit of extra culture. I don't think that we would be doing that uh, long enough to also get signs from dominance eventually. I hope there will be some more land for us. I hope that we are not cut off from everyone else by ocean. Hmm, this doesn't look good. Okay, now, we are five turns away from Calendar, and then, or with Calendar, we want to start working on Herbalist immediately. Unless, I go Worker first. Because if I don't get the Worker here, it may take quite a while. I guess I delay the herbalist and get the second worker. Okay, let's go this way.
That was risky. That could have been a barbarian here. That still could be. And actually, I don't need to rush anything because I'm not going to be settling uh, before the next social policy. This was actually a mistake that could really hurt. Okay, decisions. Now we settle here. We get the extra shuttle. Oh, there we go. More barbarians. <clears throat> More land to settle. Lots of barbarians. Uh, is he dead? Shot attack. Uh, I hope he survives on like 10 hit points. Now we have extra strength, strength against barbarians. He should be okay. It's gonna hurt, but he should be fine. Because we kind of need him. Okay, cities. Monument, shrine, granary. I have to go cancel herbalist. Uh, we're gonna change this very soon. I just hope that we don't get the horses first. One, two, yeah, three, four, five. And uh, what about the last one? There is a fish here. Damn, this is gonna be an awful city when it, uh, for a few turns after it's settled. Now, when we know that there is another island down here, we actually skip this location for a while. I think I'm actually gonna settle here. There will always, almost always be some overlapping. You'll get the kettle, double fish. You can trade some lake tiles with the capital. Then we settle here, from, from this tile we cover everything else down here, this city will cover everything here. So we have all the tiles on our starting island covered. The only tile that we won't cover is this one, so eventually there could be an AI city here, but it's very unlikely. How much money do we have? 137 and we need 180? 
160. They reduce the cost of archers. Oh, the warrior didn't even attack. Okay, in that case, we are perfectly fine. Oh, right, I forgot about the border growth. We get the money immediately. Completely failed the planning here. I should have, instead of a worker, I should have gone for the archer. Because I'd be able to build the archer earlier and buy a worker. That way I would save a few turns. This way I'll save a little bit of gold. Okay, fine, we are buying an archer. That's fine. This is fine. Let's move the warrior first. Looks good. It's not safe still, there could have been a war uh, brute here, or any barbarian here, but hopefully we are fine. You are definitely moving this way. And our capital also grew. That's great, that's amazing actually, because now this city will have access to all these tiles when the border uh, connects. Hey, Rome. Do you want to trade with me? You do, but you don't have money. Probably won't work. And I'm not selling first that he values to, at almost 300 for 3 gold per turn. That's just not happening. So let's hope he gets more gold. And how did we meet him? Here. Oof. Okay, that's not the target that I want to have uh, in the early game. I guess I don't have a choice. This also increases the priority of a city here. What about this? No, no, no. This is too far from the resources. I have to settle... I have to settle here. Because then the city is going to be a bit safer against naval attack. This would be a little too exposed. Wouldn't be horrible. I kind of need to know what's here. Uh, but I think we have time for that. Let's first get rid of the of the camp. What do we do? Growth. That's six. This is eight. I think I'm fine with eight. Get the production right away.
How much do we have to rush the Herbalis? I think I still want to get it fifth. And uh, I think I forgot to give the order. Like overall, I think I'm doing decent-ish job at micromanaging, but with one exception, and that's the worker like. I forget to uh, finish the work here in both cases. I forget to just start the work here even in time. So that wasn't great. Oh, we got the lake tile. It's kind of helping we'd get the deer instead. Okay, let's get the worker. There goes Lighthouse. Yeah, there's just no way I would be able to build Great Lighthouse. I wouldn't even, even if I tried to rush sailing, I would barely be able to get it in time. Like to start working it by the time someone already finished it. Uh, you'll go there. And I think I'm gonna make a cut here. It'll do a herbalist. It'll move. Oh crap. Where did you come from? So you're gonna land immediately. Uh, the warrior might be in trouble here. Pavel, we'll see if the warrior survives next time. Uh, I think we are doing okay-ish. I kind of want those two, more, two extra settlers soon. And then we just try to grow and survive for a while. And then uh, once we figure out how exactly the Roman territory looks like, start pr planning for an invasion. Uh, no idea how that's going to work, especially if it's going to uh, be some kind of a combined attack, naval and uh, land units. Uh, and we will probably have to wait for the legions to become obsolete i really don't want to fight from behind into legions like that's not a good idea oh one more thing you have 14 techs so he is not the tech leader he managed to get pyramids and he has five authority he's doing okay but he's not running away completely um so we are done for today. I hope that you liked this episode. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.